What can I learn from this? What can I teach you guys? In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is my first story time video. Last night, I was walking around planning to go for a run because I was really upset, I was stressed out, I had a lot of personal problems going on, and I was on the phone with a friend of mine just talking about it. Normally, I get straight to my run, I know which direction I'm going, I have it planned, and that's what I do. But because I was on the phone, upset and stressed and depressed about stuff, I was walking all these random ways around the city, and I bumped into this woman, she was pushing the wheelchair from behind and she was going up the sidewalk on a ramp and I just had my headphones in on the phone and I happened to glance at her and she was struggling to get up this ramp out of breath, literally gasping for air and I saw she had like hospital bracelets on her wrist and I was like, oh my god, like instantly, I need to help this woman I asked her, I said, oh my god, do you need some help? and she said yes, I like helped her get up the curb with her wheelchair and then I said, where are you going? I can help you, I'll take you there she showed me this little business card of the address and she said, this is where I'm going and it was four or five blocks away which were like longer blocks, especially given the fact that she was in a wheelchair and she was struggling already. So I hung up the phone with my friend and the woman sat in her wheelchair. At this point I noticed, I didn't notice this right away, but I noticed that she may have been homeless. I kind of got that vibe. I said, where are you coming from? And she said she was on the bus. She was going to this place which was a food shelter where she can get food for homeless people. And I said, oh, are you homeless? And she said, no, I live in a home with older people. She sat in the wheelchair. I tried pushing her and the wheelchair was kind of broke. It didn't have like the foot stools where your feet can rest. It didn't have that. And the wheelchair was not moving an inch like I could not move it and I felt so helpless and I didn't know what to do I felt really bad. I was like does the wheelchair work? Are you usually able to push it? And she said yeah, but she like she walks behind it and pushes it So I think she usually uses it as a walker technically she got up and she ended up standing behind it and I assisted her from the side like holding her and the side of the wheelchair to, to help push it through these blocks so we started walking up we were a couple blocks away at this point, and I said, what time are they serving food until? She showed me the business card again, and I was like, I can, I can call for you, I'll call for you. So I looked at the business card, there was no phone number, but I noticed it said they served at 7 o'clock, and it was now 9.30. And I was like, they're probably done right now. Like, I have an idea, why don't we turn back around the way we came from, and I'll get you some food, I'll get you whatever you want. But she's like, okay. She didn't ask me for anything. That's the thing, this woman did not ask me for anything at all, ever. From the beginning, when I saw her, I offered to help her. We turned around, and we went back. There was a Panera Bread and a burger spot. They were both closed, and I was like, oh my god, like, what am I going to do this woman she's she was gasping for air still she could not breathe well and I asked her how old she was she's 63 she has six children she said her kids don't help her out they were supposed to pick her up and take her they never come pick her up and I just felt really bad for this woman she said she has 22 grandchildren which is kind of crazy but the next spot that I saw open was like a crown fried chicken that was the only place that was open I literally ran up the block to make sure it was open and I came back to her and I told her it was open would you like to eat this and she said yes so we went down the block I brought her in there got some food for her thank you there you go we can sit down okay I sat with her and she said, eat something with me. And I was like, you know what? Why didn't I just order something? I wasn't hungry. I was planning on going for a run. Like I wasn't planning to eat food. But I was like, I, I, let me just get something. Who cares? I want to make this woman feel comfortable. So I got some chicken and I sat with her and we ate. I was just looking at her and I smiled at her. A simple smile. And she looked at me and she just smiled back. And it was like a really happy feeling to just see this woman smile. I did it a couple times. Like I made sure I made eye contact with her and I smiled at her. It was just a nice experience. I said, where are you going after this? She said she was going to go back on the bus and go home. We were walking back towards the bus stop and things got a little bit strange because she started to change her story a bit. And she said she needed to meet her parole officer. I said, oh, are they at your house? And at this point, it was late. It was already like 10.45 already, or maybe it was 11. But anyway, I was thinking the parole officer wouldn't be at her house at 11 o'clock at night. But I was thinking to myself, maybe she's really homeless and she didn't want to tell me the truth. 
and she started walking into the courthouse, which in fact happened to be the same courthouse that I went to when I had court for the rooftopping incident. Center for Criminal Justice. Okay, this might be it. I'm not sure. That was the same courthouse, so she wanted to walk inside there. We did. We went inside there. The lady that worked there behind the desk was like, we're closed. You, you got to get out of here. And she said to me, she's like, come here. And I walked up to the lady and she said, you're a sucker. You fell for it. She does this every single night and she brings someone in here and, and they fall for it. I was like, I wanted to help her. I was like, she didn't ask me for anything. And the guy behind the desk agreed and he said like, yeah, yeah, like unfortunately she does this. And I was like, she was asking for the bus stop and like, where's the bus stop? And they said it was like a couple blocks away. So in my mind, I'm thinking at this point, what do I do? Does this woman have a home? Is she really gonna get on the bus? Or is she homeless and she's trying to cover it up? And then I was thinking, maybe she just wanted company. Maybe she doesn't have anybody to talk to. But I was with her, I talked to her, and I said, do you talk to any of your family? And she said, not really. And I was like, do you like the people at the home you live in? And she said, no, I hate them. And I'm thinking, she doesn't have anyone to talk to. Maybe she just enjoyed my company. Okay, I'll spend more time with her. So we walked to the bus stop. Are there any other shelters? Uh -huh. Are there any other shelters that have food? Yeah, I guess so. You got food. I think there's one, actually I can text my friend because I know someone that works with one of the shelters and I'll find out where it is and when they do it. Okay. Hello, how are you? And it was strange because the bus she said, there was no bus number on that street that she said she was supposed to catch. I didn't know what to do and we kept going another block and then the bus was there. She said it was a 33 bus and it ended up being there on that block. And I was like, okay, she might not be lying. I'm gonna wait with her and see, does she get on the bus, does she need help? Because at least then I would feel better about myself and I could go on with my night knowing this woman safely got on the bus and I don't feel like I have to worry anymore. So I waited with her, the bus came. Yeah, this is the 33. This is it. It's coming. The driver got out to help her get on the bus. She got on the bus. But the moral of the story here is, if you see something, if you see somebody in need of a helping hand, the most that you can do is offer your time. You don't have to, you don't have to have anything. You don't have to have money to give to somebody. You can just offer your time and your assistance. And that's all you need to brighten somebody's day. And one simple act of kindness can, can really help somebody. So this woman went on. She had a nice time with me. We spent a couple hours together. I felt really good about it. And it made me realize I'm walking around the city down in the dumps about my stupid personal problems. They're not stupid because every individual has their own problems. But are my problems that big of a deal? Like this woman might be homeless. This woman can't get a meal tonight. And I'm here upset about like things that are more personal than, than like an actual problem that's like a legit hardship for somebody. So it made me think, I wanna make a video about this. I want this to be my first story time. I wanna inspire you guys to do something nice, to do something kind and help people. It's really simple. I think that's my story. <laughs> And I felt really good about it. I'm glad I met this woman. It made me feel better about being down myself. It made me feel better to help her, whether she may or may not be homeless. I don't know. I kind of believe her. And I think that the people that worked at the courthouse, maybe they didn't believe her because they maybe see her so often. They don't know what to think because maybe they're just being judgmental of her because they see her as this woman that's maybe not dressed well or like pushing around a wheelchair, I don't know. But she never asked me for anything at all. And she said thank you to me. I offered her if she wanted extra food to bring home. She said no, no. And I was like, are you sure? Do you want anything? Do you need something from the store? And she didn't want anything from me. So it was just a really nice experience for me. Also, one more thing. This is something that's always a struggle for me. I don't always share instances like this with you. Sometimes I talk about stuff like this on social media if I'm in a certain circumstance that I feel like I did something good and it could be inspirational to you. But there's a lot of times I do stuff and I don't talk about it. And I think that that's a good thing for any individual to just be kind for the kindness of your heart, not 
to show what you're doing. Like do it because you, you genuinely mean it and you genuinely feel like you should do something. I chose to film little pieces of this during what happened because as it was happening, I can maybe make something out of this. I can maybe inspire people and that's my goal. My goal in life currently is to be a good influence on people and inspire people to do good things. I didn't want to show her face. I didn't want to show the whole exact circumstance. That's why this footage I have it's just here for you to get a visual of like what happened. I think for yourselves, if you're ever in a circumstance, it could be anything where you're helping somebody. You don't have to like share it with the world. You can if you want to, but don't do it because of that reason. If that makes sense. I don't know if this makes sense. I'm trying to make sense of it. This is my own thoughts about helping a homeless person. I personally don't like to give them money and I have sometimes here and there, but I don't like doing that just in case they are a drug user, a drug abuser, alcoholic, because I fear that what if my money were to contribute to an overdose? Or what if my money were to contribute to something that's really bad and negative? In my own mind, it's better to give someone food because if they're homeless, they probably need food. So you're, and I learned that actually in health class years ago. I think I remember hearing this and it stuck with me. Things that you can give to somebody is probably a little better than giving somebody cash. If you give them clothes, food, a trans pass, a gift card to like a food place, I've done that before, just maybe not cash, because you don't know what they're gonna do with it. I hope this was a good story for you guys. I love you. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification so you'll know every time I upload a video.